Thank you very much, moderator, and uh, let me uh, once again thank uh, the panelists, uh, distinct, distinguished panelists who have really touched at the core of the question that's before us. Um, I, I think I want to mention one point that was uh, underlined by my good friend Masavisi, uh, starting with, uh, since you asked me about my experience, um, investment. Where do you invest in this democratic space? Uh, unfortunately, a lot more resources are invested in conflict management, but not in uh, nurturing democracy. Um, and, and this you see, and, and I think this also ties very well with the points that was raised by Mr. Gorenis, uh, who's speaking from uh, uh, you mentioned the Strasbourg, uh, when he talked about the visibility of those that uh, are involved, the actors. The point of investment, uh, if, if we invest at the right time, in the right place, we'll get better outcome, because at the moment we seem to be crisis-driven rather than anticipation of what we anticipate to get into society and investing in the right time. And so to me, that's a very important time. Uh, it's very easy to mobilize resources, both from the European Commission or member states. If there is a crisis already in Mali, people are in the move and everything is uh, disruptive, rather than anticipate and invest. And this is where mediation plays a role. This is where all the actors are mentioned. The second aspect, I think, that is coming out of it, where do you invest this? It's important, yes, to invest in nurturing democracy, but who do you invest in? And, and it's very clear that it must be at the local level, that you can empower the society to, to be able to, 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 uh, to feel the belonging, to feel the desire to participate, to feel the desire that they can only achieve uh, what society's aspirations are together uh, and not uh, you know, playing against the other. If civil society can act, act in that space because they can reach the local level, they can be able to anticipate and confront the extremists and give the right information. Because see, information only comes in when there is no proper, there is always demand for, you know, where there is no information, there's no void, there is void, uh, wrong information will come in. But when society is equipped, they, they will be. But then in empowering these uh, societies, it is also important to make sure that they have trust, they have, they, they have faith in the process. So then supporting the institutions, you don't have to be in the wrong hall. Uh, but of course, coming to election observation itself, this is a wrong investment also in a way because the, 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 the result Election is, is, not, is not an event, it's a process which starts uh, with, of course, the strength of political parties, the space political parties are given to express freely so that the people can have faith in the outcome, and then the strength of electoral management bodies. And I think this is the crucial role that really uh, this, this brings out so that in the process of then anything going wrong, uh, mediation then can kick in and you then must have the proper actors that are going to act. Uh, often when you look at Africa and uh, uh, my colleague uh, Kalista did point out, um, the non-visibility of the European Union as it was said, which is supporting, but also uh, many electoral management organizations, including African Union, is because a lot of efforts, if you look at the peace and security architecture of the African Union, it has some of the elements which are not visible on the radar, and for reasons which are good. For instance, you, somebody mentioned here the case of Zambia last year. The role that was played by, say, former leaders, uh, what you called uh, the panel of the wise, who would go before elections are organized to be able to confront the leaders, those, uh, you know, who, Governments, because government, and it has been said here, play a very crucial role because they have the instru instruments 
to organize credible elections. They have instruments to finance uh, the electoral management bodies. They have the instruments to mobilize society, to give space uh, to uh, parties to be able to participate. But when you perceive something is not going right, it is only then you can deploy uh, those institutional elements which normally don't operate through what you might call media or megaphones, diplomacy, that can reach those and converse and prevent. So that prevention must also have layers. Layers depending on, are you looking at the local level? Are you looking at uh, those uh, in management? Uh, are you looking at uh, all these aspects? In other words, you must understand the, stru the, the structure of society, where conflict is coming from, where the trigger is coming and going there. Then, of course, let me talk one aspect which I wanted to bring out uh, here, and that is the need for coherence uh, and therefore the need for this partnership. One of the lessons I learned, and I remember one time talking to late uh, Kofi Annan uh, when he was handling one of the countries that was going through transition. When you have a, many external actors, it, if they are not coherent, if they are not coordinated, and this was also talked about, it is a, a precise reason for also not managing that mediation process or coming to an end. Because the parties find reason to be uh, talking the, the, the actors against each other. And so the need for coordination is extremely important. And that's why uh, this seminar, which also contextualizes that we have member states supporting, working with the European Union, but also the European Union also being inclusive with all the actors on the ground, including institutions like ECAS and the rest, so that we all work for one purpose and go in the same direction. That is the coordination of that is, is very important. I've been involved in election observations, uh, involved in all the other management, and when you don't have that, the society is divided, the actors are divided, and the outcomes are never credible. And so this is an important uh, element and one that we must nurture, and this is why it's so important to see these actors that can talk from different angles, but have clearly a convergence, as uh, Mr. Masavi said. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you.